In the previous video, we explored how to approach advanced searching in the CINAHL database and added PsycInfo to the platform. Doing so quadrupled our results. Now it's time to start working through the results list and using the limiters to reveal the most relevant and useful articles for your purposes. For example, you may decide to limit to only peer-reviewed research for a specific date range. And if we scroll down to the gender menu, it's clear that despite our keyword choices, we probably should click gender female to ensure it's the focus of our results. Finally, you may want to limit to see only research conducted using specific methodologies. So let's scroll down to the methods menu to check off some choices. Then scroll down and click the update button. At this point, take a quick scroll through the results. Do they look relevant? Do you need to limit any further? For example, by your desired age range? If yes, go ahead and click off everything you need to click. Once you're satisfied with the limiters you've chosen, you can start assessing which articles might be of use to you. Focus on the title words and subject tags. If something looks like a yes or a maybe, Click the title and read the abstract. If it's really a yes, you can click this little Add to Folder icon to temporarily save this article information. When you're done researching for the time being, scroll up to the top of the page and click the Folder icon to review everything you've saved so far. If the articles all still look useful, go ahead and email them to yourself. Uncheck the HTML option if it's there as it's redundant and will make your email message harder to read. Returning to the results page, here's one last time-saving tip. If you'd like to save this search, keywords and results so you don't have to retype them, then go ahead and click search history right below the search boxes. Click the specific searches you'd like to keep and then click save searches slash alerts. Sign in with your CNA if you haven't already done so. I've already signed in so I can immediately think about what to name my search. Once you've named your search, click Save. And then Continue. And here you have a list of every search you've chosen to save. Now all you have to do is click Retrieve Save Search. Then click Rerun. Here's your original results list again without needing to remember or retype all your keywords. And if you're finding this list of previous searches distracting, just click the search history link again to hide it. In this video, we explored several of CINAHL's limiters and learned how to save your searches for another time. For additional help with CINAHL or with any other research questions that you might have, check out the resources and help section at the end of this tutorial.